Hi, so last class we talked about the basic editing techniques, uh, the tools that you see over here, but today I'm going to go a little bit more in advance and work with these advanced editing techniques that you see down here. So uh, what the modify panel does is again, uh, whatever you draw using the drawing tools, you modify them, you copy them, you rotate them, uh, you mirror them, you scale them, but today we're going to see a, a, a few more uh, options that you have over here, starting with the first one called as an offset. Now what off offset does is it, it creates concentric circles or parallel lines or parallel curves, as it says down here. So let's start uh, let's see how the offset command works. So the list command for offset is O and hit space bar. So you get into the offset command that you see down here or just click on this one. Okay, either or. So uh, for the offset command to work we need uh, a line or an object that's already there. So let's start with opening a new file first. So I go to AutoCAD and go to File New. I'm going to take uh, the same template, I M F G for a manufacturing inches drawing. Hit open, and that's what we have in our paper space. But I'm going to jump to the model space because that's what where we draw. So starting with offset, first thing I'm going to do is just make a rectangle. I click on the rectangle tool, and I make a rectangle right there. Now what I want to do is make an offset of this rectangle at a certain distance that I specify. So my sh command is O space bar. Uh, the next thing it asks me is specify the offset distance. So offset distance in this case I'm going to specify as maybe 6 or let's specify as 1 and hit enter. Select the object to offset, I click the object and it says select the point inside to offset. So either I select on that side or this side. So I'm going to select it outside right now. So you see what it did? It made an offset of a distance of 1 from there. See, that has a distance of 1. Now I could do another offset of this rectangle on the inside. So I do O, Enter. Now I'm going to give the offset distance as 0.5, Enter click on the object. Now instead of going out, I'm going to go in. So it made an offset at a distance of 0.5 on the inside. Now that I'm already in the command, I can always keep going. Even this one, I can go hit outside as a distance of 0.5. You see that? That's 0.5. So I could offset a rectangle in this case. I could offset just a line or I could offset a circle take a circle, click and draw a circle, I hit O, space bar, distance for offset, I'm going to give it as 0.5, enter, select the object, and I'm going inside, I can keep going inside, or I can click this and click outside, see what it does, it, it is making concentric, concentric circles over here, and it's making rectangles over here, if I wanted, I could just do it with a line. So I create a line that is 1, and I want to offset this 1 on top or on bottom. Again, the command would be O, space bar, specify distance. I'm going, I'm going to specify it as 0.3 this time. Enter, select the object, and keep going. Select the object, keep going. Object, keep going object keep going down okay so it's a fairly easy command again used a lot like for instance if I'm working with an architecture drawing and I make my walls something that's like that and what I want to do is offset it the wall thickness so I go offset and obviously this is an engineering drawing but I'm just going to show you how it works I offset that and I offset this so now I have two walls and an offset of 0.5. Okay, so that's how the offset command works. Just a little bit practice, and you get good at it. It's pretty simple to work with. The short for the offset is O. Okay, 
Now let's get to another one, and the other one would be called as trim. I believe we have worked with trim in the previous exercise. Uh, let me see which one is that. Trim and extend. I believe we've already worked with that. If not, I will come back to this in the second part, but I believe we've already done that. Uh, we already even work with erase. It's really easy. Just click on it, select the object you want to erase, and hit delete or hit enter. Okay. Go erase. Select the object with a crossing window like this. So it selects everything there and hit enter or erase. I could select a window that encloses this rather than a crossing. So it depends on what I want to choose. If I do that, obviously it's not going to work because it's not a crossing window. So I have to make sure it's enclosed and I hit enter. Now to delete, the other way of deleting objects is just without any command. There's no command and all I do is just do that. See how it selects it with the grips and all I have to do right now is hit delete. So I could use either or, either select it just without doing anything and hit delete or go to the erase, short for erase is E and click that and hit, delete, uh, hit enter. So you could use either one of those two. Now the next command that we have over here is explode. Now explode, what it does, it breaks a compound object into its component objects. Like for instance, in this case, the rectangle is a compound object where it's made up of one, two, three, and four lines. So I can break this compound object from one object to four lines. And how do I do that? I have to go to the explode command, select the object, and hit enter. Now if I click on that, see, now it's an individual line. Why? Because I broke the object into four lines by using the explode command. Did I explode this? No. See when I move my cursor? It's one piece. I didn't explode this one either. One piece. One piece. Only one I exploded was this one. So that's why I have one, two, three, and four pieces. So how would I use explode using my keyboard? I just have to type X space bar to select the objects, or I could select two objects in one time, and hit enter. Now, oh, see, everything is broken now. It's not in one piece. Only thing that's in one piece is this shape right here. Now, could I explode the circle? No, because circle is, <coughs> is already in one piece. See, I cannot explode it, it's already in one piece. But a lot of times, uh, when you are using blocks, uh, blocks and uh, compound objects, you would want to explode it. So when we cover the blocks topic, that's when I'm going to go into it and show you how to explode a block and how to group a block and stuff like that. So that was your explode command. Now let's jump to another command called as the fillet. Now fillet, what it does, it rounds the edges of the object as it says over here. So Right now, I have this object, or this line and this line, and they meet at 90 degrees. But what if I wanted to round the edge rather than having a sharp edge? By default, AutoCAD goes with a fillet radius of zero. So how do I change the radius and make this into a little curve? So I have to go to the fillet command right there, click on it. Now. Before I click the objects or two lines which I want to curve, I have to give a radius. So if you look down here, there's a radius. So I will type R for radius, hit enter. Now it's asking me to specify fillet radius. So I'm going to specify my fillet radius as 0.5. Enter. So the next thing it is asking me to do is select the first object. So I want to make a fillet radius right here. So this is one object, that's the other object. So I click on the first object, then I click on the second object. So you see what it did over here? It made it made a radius of 0.5 instead of having a sharp edge. 
Now let's try it on here. So I do fillet, enter, which is F enter. Now my previous command has already saved my fillet radius as 0.5 that you see down here. So I click on this and click on that. I can keep going. If I want to go back to the exact same command I used, what did I do last time? I just hit spacebar or enter so it goes back to the same exact command which is fillet. And my radius is already saved. All I have to do is keep going, clicking it. Spacebar, click. Spacebar to go back to the same command, click and click. Same thing, I can keep going here. Okay, keep going there. Okay, sometimes what happens is your fillet radius won't work because your radius you gave it was more than it could fit in. Like for example, I have a line that goes here and I have another line that goes here. Okay, now if you see this line is just point 0.3 and this is also some point 0.5, point 0.7. So if I give a fillet, enter, radius for R, enter. Now if I give anything more than one, it shouldn't work because, why? Because my object is smaller. So it did say over there, radius is too large. So if I'm working on a smaller object, I have to make sure that the radius that I can put in has to be smaller than that. So I do F, enter for fillet, R, enter for radius, and instead of giving one like last time, I'll give maybe point one. Hit enter. Click and click. So this made the object end in a radius which is point 0.1. So I could do the same thing over here, fillet, radius point 0.1 is already there. Can click on that and click on this. Okay, if I want to erase that, I can always select it and erase it. Now let's try fillet enter or enter. I'm going to give it as a number 5. Let's see if that takes. So if this distance is more than 5, it shouldn't take it. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click on this. You see? Invalid. Radius is too large. So I'll do F, enter, R, enter, and now radius, I'm just going to give it as maybe 2. Click on this, and click on that. Again, it's too large. F, enter, R, enter, maybe 1. 1 or 1.5. So see? 1 is going that far. That's why it, when it was 2, it was longer than the distance that it had to convert it into a radius. So that's how I would work with my fillet command. Now, I could even fillet these two lines and see how it works. But this time, instead of giving it a radius, I'm going to give it a radius as 0, which is by default. So what happens is when I give a radius by default and I click on this line, and that line, so it should stop right there. Okay? So F, enter, R, enter, and the radius is 0. Hit enter. Click and click. You see what happened there? So that disappeared. It's as good as trimming those two lines, but the command that you use is fillet. I'm going to go back. I do F, enter, R, enter. My radius should be 0, 0. And I click on this line and that line. And see, these two small little lines will get trimmed. OK? Now, I will do the same thing, but in the other direction. I do F, enter, R, enter. Fillet radius at 0, enter. And I'm going to make a fillet of this. And this. Now see what it's going to trim. See what it did? It trimmed that line and it trimmed this line. So it's important to uh, make sure where you click. F, enter, R, enter, 0, enter. Now I'm going to click on this and this. So it trims that part out. If I click this and this side, it will trim this side out. Okay? So let's click this side and this side. And that's what it did. It trimmed that part out. Go fillet, R, 0, click on this, and that, trim this side out. 